Hi guys, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss what, how to connect my SQL database with SSIS, SQL Server Integration Service. So first here, in Google search box, write there ODBC driver for MySQL. Then you can go on this site, or dev mysql.com. And here, you can see this, the latest version is there. So let's click on this, download. And here, no thanks. So MySQL connector. After that, let's click uh, into this file. And thereafter, click on OK. And here, you can see the installation wizard that's come there. Click on Next. I accept. Here, Next. Complete. Next. So here, you can see wizard completed. Let's click on Finish. Thereafter, let's uh, opening there, Visual Studio. So I already have the project there for SSIS. So this is the video lecture fifth of this Informatica class series. So in last lecture there I discuss about how to connect Oracle with the SSIS. So here you can see inside the project connection manager, right click there, new connection. Then here you can see ODBC is there. Let's uh, click on this add. So here we need to add the connection. So first, you are going to create one new ODBC for MySQL. ODBC data source 64 bit for MySQL. Clicking on this add. So when you click on this add, if you scroll down, here you can see this two option that's come there. MySQL ODBC 9. Let's click on finish. Here you need to give the data source name. So here MySQL underscore SSIS. So name should be meaningful. TCP IP. Let's give your host name, localhost, and let's give your root as the user and give the password. For database, if you drop, click on this drop down, here you can see, let's use the Sakira. Now, if I click on this test button, so here you can see connection successful. Click on OK. So here, MySQL SSIS, that's come there. Now, thereafter, click on OK, and here, after click on this new. So, new, here, you can see MySQL SSIS that's come there. Let's give root user and the password. Thereafter, let's click on this test connection. Test connection succeeded. Click on OK, OK. Here, MySQL SSIS root that's come there. Click on OK. After that, I already have the project file and uh, what I'm trying to do. So let's click uh, create one new project. So here SSIS, click on new SSIS package and here giving the meaningful name. So here let's give the meaningful name MySQL con. Thereafter let's use the double click on this data flow and here data flow that's come there. Here going to use the source. So, edu.net is the source, double click there. Then you can click on this new. Here you can see my SQL SSIS that's come there. Select this and here. Table view and here you can see a list of four uh, or uh, table that's come there. If I select EMP and now if I go on this column, so here I'm getting this kind of masses. Okay, so this masses that's getting there. So that here I'm going to avoid their table of view. Going to use their SQL command. SQL command, and before I'm going to use their SQL command, opening their MySQL workbench. And the uh, MySQL workbench is now opening. Let's use their root user. Thereafter, this is a circular, and this table is there. Let's uh, uh, select your MP select thousand. So there, I'm going to select. Uh, particular columns. So select uh, here EMP, okay. Uh, so here selecting EMP, ename, cell and debit number. So here writing the command select, select and here selecting EMP number, then ename, then here cell and debit number that selecting from EMP table. So let's uh, go on this build query. Here you can see 
or this column that selected there and this is the query after that click on ok then click on this preview so this is a particular column and data that's come there after that if you go on this column here you can see this uh, selected there that's all looking fine then after let's take their target here, target so here now first going to uh, stabilize the link so this is the idea.net and here going to take this so uh, this already is there so i already have the connection of this so uh, ssms sql server so let's so uh, here you can see this is localhost sql server so loading the data inside this sql server so here going to use their target so going to use their emp dct and uh, here let's click on this preview so it's i it, this already has some record so what i'm trying to do so truncating the record then after here record is let's so uh, select this and here execute so truncate table emp underscore dct so emp we need to truncate so let's give here emp dct truncate that so there is nothing inside now let's check once again so there is nothing inside there after that or uh, the next is let's click on this preview so this has no any then after let's go on this mapping so automatically this is detected there so here em emp number this detected here cell that's detected dpt number that's so uh, all detected there okay source and target here you can see this all detected and here this has no any value so this returned there so this ignore okay job mgr higher date and commission this ignore after that click on this okay and the next is save that then after click on this start so here this succeeded 13 rows that's enter into the target so let's so uh, go on this target there and if i execute this query here you can see this record that's come there so this record that's come there okay so this is the most uh, simplest way we can connect MySQL uh, with SSIS.